What is up everyone, in this video we'll learn to use the TomTom Go application to navigate easily. So let's get into it. We'll quickly download it from the store first. There are two issues with TomTom Go. The first is that you need to pay to use it. It's not a free app. Secondly, it asks you to download maps before using it. Let's allow the location and the notification permission. It will check your region to download the maps. Let's do that now. This will take some time and once done, you'll see the interface. To zoom in and out, pinch like this. This is our current location. TomTomGo shows roadblocks, roadworks and other reported things on the road. The road speed limit is also displayed here. From the settings, we can add home, work and other locations. Then we can quickly tap on those to navigate. This sound button is to listen to all navigation sounds, alerts only, or to mute the app. We can download more maps from maps and display settings. Other important options are here if you like to explore them. Routing lets us adjust the type of route we take. We can also avoid tolls and other roads. Sounds and warnings is where we can download voices in different languages. Then subscriptions are where you will manage how much you pay. Units privacy and background running are in the other settings. Let's search for places. From the search interface, you can quickly search for parking, petrol, restaurants and other places. Let's type in something. As we have looked up a fuel station, TomTomGo is showing the fuel prices. Tapping this button will let you make it a favorite, see travel time from this location and search places nearby. Tapping drive will show all the routes with the travel distance and arrival time. We'll select one of those and start the navigation. TomTomGo has a progress bar that shows your points of interest places, red light cameras and parking. The arrival time and distance are at the top. This is the menu button to add a stop and do a few other things. I'll tap an icon to see locations along the route. To add a stop, we just look up a place and tap on it. Now we see two destinations in the progress bar. TomTomGo is very good on road limits, but occasionally you'll find incorrect speed limit. For example, here it's displaying 50 zone, but it's actually a 60 zone. One of the best things it has is displaying the speed cameras on the map. We can see one coming up. When we are close, it also makes a sound and adjusts the progress bar. Another great thing is its vehicle speed monitoring system. When you go over the speed limit, it turns the speedometer red to notify you of the speeding. This is a great feature because sometimes you don't know the road limit. Furthermore, on the top, we see lands and which land you should be in. This is another helpful feature because occasionally we have to make quick left or right turns after making a turn. So this helps in staying in the proper lane, especially in the new areas. Let's cancel the stop to make this trip easier. To cancel it, just tap on it in the progress bar. You'll find the option to reorder stops and cancel the selected one. Now let's drive to the destination to complete this trip. By the way, you can share your trip by clicking the arrival time. It just sends a text containing the trip info. When you arrive at the location, a small window pops up showing the quick places nearby. Click the close button to close it. So this was using the TomTomGo app. I hope it helped. Please let me know if you have any questions. Talk to you later. Take care.